Hello, FRC Southeast. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Ready Made. I'm your host, Ben Hayes. We've got a full episode for you, so let's get started. Selected from among 81 teams and individuals across the Naval Aviation Enterprise, FRC Southeast's Vertical Lift Production Line was recently recognized with the NAV Air Commander's Award for Best Performing Production Line in the Quality Focus category. In early 2021, leadership from the NAE challenged us to return aircraft to the fleet faster than ever before. The emphasis was on cost, schedule, and performance for the H-60 PMIs. The Vertical Lift team delivered with a turnaround time reduction of approximately 16% and zero deficiencies closing out the year at $3.1 million under budget. So this is really an amazing accomplishment. I mean, amidst COVID and a requirement to the customer to go faster, for this team to win a quality-focused award really speaks volumes to their attention to detail and their care for the fleet, and I couldn't be prouder of them. Rodney Boone accepted the award on behalf of the team at a ceremony in Patuxent River, Maryland on April 20th. Congratulations to the whole team for a job well done. <laughs> to encourage and support STEM academics in our community, a group of FRC Southeast mechanical and aerospace engineers recently volunteered to judge the Clay County Science Fair and the Northeast Florida Regional Science and Engineering Fair. The team judged projects in the areas of engineering, chemistry, computer and environmental science, physics, robotics, and other STEM subjects. The level of professionalism that they had, the level of intellect, the level of academic understanding of their project that they were presenting, and what they were able to do within just one year worth of um, working on that particular subject, it, that just blew me out of the water. <laughs> um, so it makes me excited for our future, and it makes me excited for um, all the children that are in America that have the rest of their careers, the rest of their lives um, to make something possible. STEM is woven into so much of the work we do here every day, and this was a great way to support these areas of study within our community, while also helping to inspire great minds of tomorrow. Between May 23rd and 27th, Intertech will be conducting our ISO and aerospace standards inspections. There will be six auditors on site evaluating three of our compliance initiatives, environmental, safety, and quality management systems. Through standardization, these inspections help businesses increase productivity and minimize errors and waste, while safeguarding employees and consumers. During this time frame, if you're approached by a member of the inspection team, please be courteous and answer questions openly and honestly. After Rolls-Royce hit a snag in F405 engine rework output that directly impacted engine turnaround time back to the fleet, FRC Southeast and FRC East were called into action. The F-405 engine powers the T-45 Goshawk, an important training aircraft for Navy and Marine Corps pilots. So getting these aircraft back into the green was vital. Due to a change in the frequency of turbine blades inspections, Rolls-Royce had only reached 128 of the NAE's requirement of 165 engines. So our team stepped up with deployment of dozens of personnel to Kingsville, Texas to support the effort. Not to mention the additional support from back home. So Vice Admiral Peters at the time asked us to go out and uh, assist Rolls-Royce. So we sent a team of people out there and provided, um, initially it was logs and records support, which grew to providing support uh, with um, not only logs and records, but engine mechanics, aircraft mechanics, NDI, um, E&Es, and it wasn't just FRC Southeast either. We actually collectively worked with FRC East in order to um, provide over 70 uh, people um, between the two sites over the last year. The collective team recently reached their goal and through an all-star collaboration among FRC Southeast, FRC East and Rolls-Royce, Navy and Marine Corps aviators in training are now equipped with the aircraft they need to become warfighting pilots. Great job to everyone who supported this effort. Summer is nearly here, so it's time to kick off the 101 Critical Days of Summer, a campaign that spreads awareness about the risks common to summertime activities. Between May and September, fun in the sun often causes a rise in off-duty accidents. Keeping ahead of the curve, we want to take this opportunity to remind you to keep safety at the forefront 
and provide some tips to prevent or minimize mishaps. A four-week social media campaign will begin shortly that will include information on summer safety and prepping for hurricane season, which begins June 1st. Check out FRC Southeast social media pages for advice, tips, and ways to be proactive during the 101 critical days of summer. As always, we want to hear from you. If you have a story or information you would like to see in the next episode of Ready Made, let us know. You can find us on these social media platforms or send us an email. That wraps up this episode of Ready Made. We'll see you next time.